Let's build two different linear magnetic accelerators, or llamas, as I like to call them. Shoot things at high speed using magnetism. Welcome to Destructive Creativity, where we abuse our power of privilege by influencing the weak-minded populations. Don't worry, you can trust us. We're on the internet. Let's get destructive with our creativity. Yes, but first let me say, you should never use the powers of science to hurt people. So if you do end up making this, never point it at anybody uh, or shoot anybody with it. Even if I end up being shot, it's because I have no self-respect. So, you know, just don't. Yeah. Also, for your own mental health, make sure you subscribe. Unnamed studies show that if you subscribe, you're 50% more likely to win the lottery. That's unverifiable, so sure. <laughs> Let's get back to business. So for this project, we're gonna need some steel ball bearings, some wooden dowels, and some magnets. Both little small magnets for the Goss rifle, and some big honkin' magnets of death times four. If you want to know the sizes and where we got them, let us know in the comments and we'll get back to you. Hey, Eliana. Mmm. <laughs> An electron and a proton or walk into a magnetic field. That's it. There's no punchline. Physics is no joke. Building a Gauss rifle is actually really simple. Just glue two dowels together. And then spread out magnets six inches apart all the way down the barrel. So in our case, we're just using stacked up uh, mini disc magnets. I think we used about seven of them, and then tape those together, and then set them down along the dowels. It is important that all the magnets are oriented in the same direction. So in this case, if there was no tape holding them down, they'd all want to stick together. Nothing's repelling each other. The next step is to lay out the ball bearings. What you want to do is lay out two ball bearings on each magnet, all on the same side, on the direction that you want the ball bearings to shoot. All you need is a single ball bearing and you place it right at the front. You let go and using the powers of magnetism, hey! hey! It fires! We are using the big honking magnets of death to catch the ball bearings just so we don't have to pick it up every single time. They do actually fly pretty far. When you release the steel ball the first time, it is attracted to the first magnet. It hits the first magnet with a good amount of force. Let's call that one unit. The kinetic energy of the ball is transferred through the magnet, then through the other ball into the third ball. The third ball only needs to overcome the outer limits of the magnetic field, so it gets propelled towards the next magnet at a higher speed as it enters the magnetic field of the second magnet it picks up more energy. This process builds until the last ball flies off the rails. So cool! Also, just to clarify, this is not a rifle, despite being called that by some people, because there is no barrel and it's not rifled. But we have another idea. A different kind of magnetic accelerator, this time using magnetic fields to fire smaller magnets. But first, should I get shot by this? <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it's like to be shot in the face by a steel ball bearing at high speeds? Well, wonder no more, citizen, for I am here. Ah! This is scary! Ah! <laughs> huh. That could have gone worse. We do need a barrel this time. It's just something big enough to slide some cylinder magnets into. And we've made these cylinder magnets just by taping together some of the smaller ones. And we're also gonna need some of the big honking magnets of death. I call them that because they genuinely scare me. They're big enough that if my hand or skin or anything was to be caught in between them, it could cause some damage. I'm not strong enough to prevent them from snapping together, and I can't actually get them apart physically. <clears throat> yeah, no. So 
we're just going to respect them, respect the power. <laughs> now, all of the magnets that we have here are neodymium grade 52 magnets, which means they are really, really strong. Yeah. So what we want to do is to load one of the cylinder magnets so that it gets stuck to the big honking magnets and then load the other one in. Oh, yeah, there we go. Push it through with a dowel and we'll see. Hey, just like so. And there you go. We have made another form of a magnetic accelerator. The reason this shoots out of the barrel is because of the way the magnets are orientated. The large magnet has the north and south poles vertical, and the smaller magnets are horizontal. First, you have to find out which side of the smaller magnets is attracted to the top of the larger one. Remember, the north or negative side is attracted to the south or positive side of a magnet, and similar sides repel each other. Once we have found the attracting side, we load that into the barrel and let it stick. Next, we want to reverse the other cylinder so that it is being repelled by both the large magnet and the smaller one we loaded. Simply push the wooden dowel in behind and force the magnets over the pole of the big one. And as soon as it is past the center point, suddenly the first magnet is repelled and the second magnet is attracted to the opposite side, forcing the first magnet out of the barrel. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Now, we're using smaller magnets for safety purposes, but both of these can be scaled up to fire at much higher speeds. That's right. But still, don't ever point these at anybody, even if you think they wouldn't mind. Why would anyone not mind having a magnetic linear accelerator pointed at them? Who am I to judge? <laughs> Anyways, bloopers are coming up. Subscribe for new videos weekly. Hey, Eliana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> What's the difference between a pessimist and a magnet? I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> well, you see, a pessimist is someone that has a negative outlook on life. Whereas a magnet is an inanimate object that is attracted to metals and magnets of an opposite polarity. I'm surprised you didn't know that, actually. <laughs> who, who am I looking at here? Ah! It's like staring into the soul of a camera. Oh. <laughs> What is the word? That leads me to the conclusion. Hey, Eliana. <laughs> I respect you, Magnet. I respect you. We do need a barrel this time. Dark magic. Dang it! It's magnetism. Whoa! It jumped. No. <laughs> <laughs> At the bottom book, go. <laughs> Trust us, we are on the internet. Destructive creativity, where the jokes are weird and the weirder jokes. I'm pretty weird. <laughs>